pin nine, checking out five hamster gills. Dad has caught here, this is 57-5, the thin belt gill here. She's a high expectation, back on a world class. You can read all about her mom and everything in the description. Guys, I think this gilt, the thin belted one, is a pretty cool design gilt. As we study her from the ground up, she's square made at the ground. She's square in that upper skeleton. Um, really cocky headed, clean up through that front end. You get on top of her, she's level out of the back side of that shoulder, wide down her top with a good groove and shape. Um, you get behind her, she's really good in terms of muscle shape. Sets those back legs down extremely correct. I think this is a guild that's going to be a lot of fun to get out and show as you get into the summer and into the fall. Um, one that I have a lot of high hopes for, and that is 57-5. Hopping over to another guild here. See which one Dad gets caught. Oh, the one that's getting up. This is 57-6. A sister to her. She is a high expectations world class again. So 57-6 is the, this um, kind of medium belt closest to us. I think this is another one that I really like how she is built. She is square at the ground, really clean up through that front end, very true in terms of her muscle shape, good shape out through that hip and hind leg. Um, get down, she's deep sided, she's big rib. She's maybe a notch more in a moderate package um, compared to her sister, um, but I wouldn't call her moderate at all. I think she's one that can get out and move extremely well. Going to be one that you're going to take home, put on a feeder, and I think she has a whole lot of upside potential. We won't recognize her as we get out here uh, in a couple weeks, but this is a guilt that I really, really like, and that was the 57-6 guilt. Um, let's see, Dad looks like he's catching this wide belt guilt here. Um, this is 53-5. She's the answer back on Outlaw. Um, she has two other Littermate sisters that are going to be in the sale. Um, you can watch another video that they're in. Um, this is one, um, she's out of the answer again. Um, she is one that she's probably much bigger in terms of her overall skeleton makeup. She's tall at the point of her shoulder. Really good in terms of extension from the side as well. Um, really good in terms of center body dimension um, she sets those feet down square extremely attractive in her makeup um, she's another one i think you get her home here and pin by herself put her on a feeder and um, 30 days from now you won't recognize her if we can see her coming at us she's really wide in terms of that chest floor um, really good in terms of that center body dimension as well i think this is a guilt that i has a whole lot of potential and it'll be a lot of fun to take home and put into your cell or, the gill coming out next here, um, we can get this gill out here. This is, to me, a big old brood type of a female. As you analyze her, she's deep body, she's big rib, and this is 48-4. She's an explorer, back on one of a kind explorer, is a high expectation son that we raised here, um, back on a one of a kind sounds, mom's first litter. Um, very square at the ground, she's big boned, Jet level down that top, really clean out through that front end. Maybe a notch softer in that overall makeup, and that's where I get that she to me just reads as this brood sow potential all over her. Um, I really like how she's designed. Um, you know, if you're wanting to go out to the Eastern Regional, you want to hit some of these fall shows, I think she's right on track to go out and do that. The last guilt for us to look at in the sale is this. Um, 54-7, the one right there in front of Dad. 54-7 um, is a world pandemic back on a primetime sow. And I think she's one of the neatest put together gilts that we have. Study that front end. She's really attractive made up through that front end. She's square. She's big bone. She sets those feet down square at the ground. Very true in that shape. You get on top of her, she's square out of the backside of her blade. Big groove down that loin, sets those feet correctly down to the ground. She's a guild, I think she has a lot of power today. And yet she's still a little immature in her makeup, which I like at this at this age and maturity pattern. Um, one that can just get out and go. Um, I think you get her home, we get her jet black and all shined up. She's going to be one that's going to be hard to get around as we get out in the show ring. I, she's another one that I can just sit here and watch go back and forth in the pen all day. A really, really good guilt to round out this pen. 